All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. I know it's been about five or six weeks. Uh, I do, I have been doing some work, but um, had a lot going on, like I've been saying on the last couple videos. We are doing some work on 92. I've already done some work off camera. I didn't think you guys would uh, want to see me tearing shit off the car. Actually, uh, wanting to do this video on cleaning the underside of this car, you guys. I know a lot of guys, a lot of people do not do this, okay? Now, I do this for some of my cars. If these cars are very, very nice underneath, they're very, like, kind of almost virtually rust-free, almost. I will clean underneath these cars. It kind of helps preserve them. Uh, I actually have a few other fixes on the car that needs to be done. That's why I'm doing this. Because if you got shit down off the car, you might as well do some more stuff, right? Might as well clean some stuff up. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna clean the underside of this car, and I'm gonna show you guys how nice this car is underneath. I'm very surprised. I was I was actually expecting some some surface rust, but I mean, there's minimal rust underneath here. So there was a reason why I bought this car, and I knew how solid this was, this 92 uh, LX50. So look at that, that is clean. Usually you'll see a lot of rust, you know, up underneath on top of the fuel tank, you know, under, where, the, uh, where the old donut holder goes. There'll be a lot of rust right in here between the tank and the, and the floor there, but it's clean. There's a little bit, a little bit of surface rust right there, but that's it. I mean, very minimal surface rust, you guys, underneath this thing. Original rear end, you can see the tag still here on it. Like I said in a previous video, I replaced the shocks and the struts on it. But oh my God, you guys, look at this thing. She's even got the original base coat you see the the green underneath so this is a good sign when you see this very very nice take you guys all the way down the car she is pretty now even the radiator support look how straight that is usually these things are all bent to hell like I said in a previous um, video I was looking at a, a 93 coupe black on black coupe and i was inspecting it and this the radiator support on that car was bent up and it was bent up and in and that's why i didn't buy the car uh, yes i know you can replace the radiator supports on these but i do prefer the original as as, as much originality as possible i don't want to have to replace something like that if i don't have to but this thing is nice so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get under here and I'm gonna start cleaning all this up. Just wiping it down. I'm, I'm probably gonna clean the rear end up. I know it's not, it's not gonna look perfect because there is some surface rust on the rear end. You know, you got some surface rust. I'm just gonna wipe it down is what I'm doing. I'm gonna wipe everything down underneath here. But she is pretty, you guys. I'm, I'm very happy about this car. Even though it's an AOD car, who cares if it's an automatic? Now me, I don't care. I, I like 505 speeds. That's usually, that's, I used to buy nothing but 505 speeds. I never used to buy automatics until last year or two. There's two reasons for that. Price is going up. Doesn't matter now if it's an automatic now or not, or a five, uh, five speed. The price are going up on both uh, transmissions. Two, the color. Color on these cars are getting rare. So this being a 5.0 automatic Clipso green, all stock in this kind of shape, you, you would be stupid not to try to buy it, right? Um, yes, I've had a lot of nice cars in the last 10, 20 years. A lot of Foxes in the last five or six. And some of those cars I wish I would have kept, but Sometimes you just, you know, I get bored, you guys. I, I, you know, I just buy something and then I sell it and buy something else. So let's get underneath this old girl. 
I'll show you guys how I clean her up. I got a bucket already mixed up down here. I actually use uh, dish soap. So I got my bucket with a rag. You just put a little dish soap in there, fill it up, and you're good to go. Any rag will do. Like you can see the, the color on the, underneath this car. So I'll, I'll just wipe it. Look at that, you guys. Look how nice that is underneath. Just cleaning it, just cleaning it up. Look at that. Look at the difference there. Right there to that. That is nice. Look at that right there. Look at the difference. That's like new. Because you guys can see how really nice this car is. That's the whole spot I cleaned right there, that green spot. And that's the rest of what it looked like. But that, you know, that's like night and day. That's, it's like right coming right off the factory line, you know. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up. I'm just going to, it's probably going to take me an hour, hour and a half to clean as, you know, I'm just gonna hit as much as I can. You know, I might miss a little spot, some spots here and there, but it's, you know, I'm just gonna clean up the best I can. And I mean, anything's better than nothing, right? All right, well, we got her cleaned up. Looks pretty good. Um, I'll let you guys take a look at it. I think it turned out pretty good. So I think it turned out pretty good. She's pretty clean. Of course, you know, factory underneath, it's not, it's not clear coated or anything like that. <clears throat> but it is fair, I'm very happy with it. So I did go ahead and decide that I'm gonna do the exhaust and the uh, fuel tank all in one video. So what we have here is some 87 to 93 Mustang LX American Thunder. Um, I think they're Super 44s. So, so that's what we're going to put on the car. Also, we have, uh, the, you know, you guys, I pulled the tank, and I think the tank has been replaced before. I, I cleaned it up, so it looks like new. But inside of this thing is, like, brand new. So I'm hoping that, you know, it was the fuel level sending unit. It might not be, because if this tank's new... Um, the fuel pump and the fuel level sending unit is probably replaced too because they look fairly new as well. So I'm just hoping that the fuel level sending unit went out again or they just replaced it just to replace it because they had the tank down. <clears throat> so here's the Flow Masters. They look pretty nice. Of course the muffler itself has got this black coating on it. Um, and then on the side of the tailpipe it says Flow Master on the side. You guys can see that. These are some nice pipes. So we're gonna go ahead and put these pipes on and mufflers and get this fuel tank in. And you might hear me cuss a little bit. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're not gonna hear me cuss. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. All right, you guys, so first, <clears throat> there was these heat, these heat shields that was on the old uh, mufflers. I cleaned them up. I'm gonna put these back on. It's always good to, like if you have something like this on your car, uh, just put it back on. It's there for a reason, you guys. I'm gonna put these back on, I'm gonna put these on the new mufflers, and then we'll put the mufflers and tailpipes on. And I won't board you with this, you guys. I'm just gonna slap these on real quick. It's looking pretty, you guys. Got them heat shields all cleaned up and on the mufflers, got the mufflers on. Everything's looking nice now underneath here. So I'm kind of curious how well these tips are going to line up on the uh, on the car. Usually, sometimes when you'll buy these cat backs, they don't really line up either this direction or um, vertical. You know, it just it's off. Either one side's off, one looks good, and one doesn't. We're going to get the tips on, and uh, again, we'll get her snug down. See what it looks like. All right, you guys, it's the next day. Well, I just went ahead and got everything put on, the tips, the fuel tank, everything's buttoned back in the car. I'm going to uh, let you guys look underneath and um, see what you think about it. I'll drop the car down. I'll fill it up with gas, 
and we'll fire it up. It's probably gonna sound stock. The cats are still on it. Factory cats are on it. So here it is, she's looking good. I got the tips lined up pretty nice. You can see you got the Flow Masters. It says Flow Master on the side. You can see that. So everything turned out really nice underneath here, you guys. Very happy with it. Like I said, the cats are still on it. I kind of want to leave the car as stock as possible. You know, I just, on this car, I just want to keep it as stock as possible. Uh, you know, if I keep putting more money into it, it's really not going to bring any more value to this car. It is an AOD car. And I, I love it the way it is. <clears throat> so let's get it dropped down. I'll fire it up. You guys can hear it. There you go, guys. Exhaust looks good. Sounds good. So that's it. I just want to do... You know, this was kind of not the best video that I've ever done, for sure. Just kind of rushed this video, you guys. I just wanted to get this stuff done. Um, some of you guys already know uh, that I'm in a rush to doing things around here. I got a lot of stuff going on, which I'm going to announce that in the next video. But there it is. You guys got some work done to her. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, like I said, wasn't the best video. Just wanted to get something out there for you. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.